How many of you have gone to uh, Vietnamese restaurants and they have boba tea there? You guys, have you guys had that before? You have? Do you love it? Yes. I used to like that so much. I used to go with my friends after classes and stuff and we'd go to the Vietnamese restaurant and it's kind of like a smoothie but it has these little tapioca bubbles down at the bottom and they give you a really fat straw and it's so much fun to eat and it's delicious. Um, but when I, every time I ate there, I just felt horrible. And so I looked at the ingredient list. And of course, it was made out of high fructose corn syrup, sugar, artificial flavor, artificial color, um, and not much fruit, even though they called it, you know, you want your strawberry smoothie. It didn't have a whole lot of, it had strawberry powder, flavored powder in it is what it had. Um, so uh, my daughter and I loved these. And so I just tried to make them at home in a healthy way. And so here's what I've figured out. And I hope you guys like it. It's a really fun Asian treat that I think you'll love. And I've, I've tested this out on several people that have never had it before. And at first they look at it and they're like, oh, that's kind of weird. I don't know. And I convince them to taste it. And then they love it. I think Alan back there, he was weirded out by boba, the little bubbles. <laughs> the first time I gave them to you, you were pretty weirded out, right? But you liked them. All right. Are the bubbles they are made out of, it, again, it depends where you buy them and what they're made out of. So again, check the ingredient list. These ones are, they're made out of tapioca. So it's the same as the little white tapioca balls you use for tapioca pudding. Um, but just check the ingredient list to see what they've got in there. So these ones just have tapioca starch in them and a little bit of molasses, I think, to make them dark. So with all my smoothies, I just start out with fruit. You want the base to be fresh, whole fruit. And a cool thing about fruit is like most people when they're trying to lose weight or get on a healthy diet, um, they have lots of sugar cravings. Do you guys experience that where you just like got to have sugar and it's just like overwhelming and, and you just can't stand it till you eat sugar? Well, that's your body calling for carbohydrates. I try to teach intuitive eating and what that means is listen to your body. Your body is intelligent. It knows exactly what it needs to be optimally healthy. And if you'll listen to your body and give your body what it's asking for, um, you are, you're gonna figure out your personal optimum plan. So sugar cravings, one thing that that's indicating is that you need more healthy carbohydrates. You don't need sugar, <laughs> you need more healthy carbohydrates. And, and um, studies show that people that are having sugar cravings, if they will just load up on fresh fruit and eat lots of fresh fruit in the form of smoothies or just eat it raw, their sugar cravings go away and it's just their body calling for those healthy carbohydrates. Um, the other thing that causes sugar cravings is dehydration. So if you have a sugar craving, the first thing you need to do is drink a pint or two of water, um, of a purified water, not tap water. And, um, and then if your sugar craving is still continuing, the second thing you need to do is eat fruit. Yes? Is it true if you crave chocolate that you might be deficient of magnesium? Um, it, a lot of times it's a mineral deficiency, and a lot of times it's an emotional deficiency too because um, chocolate is actually helps re release endorphins. And so sometimes you're craving that endorphin release from chocolate, but chocolate, raw chocolate, not Hershey's or from the store. If you eat raw chocolate, it's very, very rich in magnesium and other minerals um, that will replenish your body. So yes, that's possible. Um, um, it could be there's various other antioxidants and other health properties to chocolate that you could be craving as well. Um, if you crave chocolate, in my other classes, I've showed you how to make raw chocolate out of healthy raw cacao instead of cocoa and sugar and stuff like that. So um, if you're craving chocolate, I have, I make a bunch of chocolate. I keep it in my freezer. If I'm craving chocolate, I just go eat chocolate until I'm done craving it. <laughs> and, and it's healthy for you. It's, um, there's more antioxidants and more vitamin content and mineral content in chocolate, in healthy raw chocolate that's been prepared properly than in a lot of vegetables. So um, that's how I deal with my chocolate cravings. Yes? What is uh, It's a root. So it's uh, kind of like a, not, not like a potato, but it's a long starchy root and they just dry it out and grind it up into powder. And so it comes out like this tapioca starch comes out kind of like corn starch, kind of gritty and starchy like that. And then they just make the little balls out of it. All right. Um, also to balance out the way your body um, uses the sugars, it's good to put a little bit of fat. Oops. Oh dear. Wow. Um, Always, um, especially if you have blood sugar problems like hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, it's good to add a little bit of fat in with your 
um, sugars. So if you're having fruit and you're having blood sugar spikes or anything like that, it's good to add a little bit of maybe seeds or nuts or um, coconut or coconut oil into it. And that's going to help it so your body doesn't take up the carbohydrates so quickly and, and you're able to um, maintain a stable blood sugar level instead of getting a spike from the fruit. Is that yes, this is whole coconut milk organic. Now, if you have the time and the disposition and the money, <laughs> um, the, the baby Thai coconuts, so they're not the coconuts that have the hard, chewy meat in them, but it's the baby ones that are still in the husk. If you, get, if you scoop the meat out of those and drink the water out of those, that is like some of the highest, best nutrition on the planet. Um, and you can use that in your smoothies instead. Most people for in my classes, they want something quick and easy. So just know that this is secondary nutritionally, but it's... Um, easier and faster. If you can get the baby coconuts and use that, your nutrition content and the health benefits are going to just like go through the roof. Yes? I just bought a couple pieces of the coconut milk in cans because mm -hmm. I'm trying to do food storage and how do I do this? But I have this concern that it's made in Asia, not here, and I'm wondering how much is being processed. Mm -hmm. And even though the ingredients don't say there's a lot of things in it, is that an issue about it being heat processed and all that? Um, anything that's heat processed is going to be less beneficial than something that's raw and whole. So um, if you can eat it raw and whole, that's better. But like with canned food, for instance, like you said, you know, sometimes you can't get a hold of the, the raw whole food, so you need canned food. Um, I'd, I would make sure it's organic because the stuff that's not organic is laden with pesticides and other um, industrial chemicals kind of stuff. So if you can get it organic, that's going to be better for you. Yeah, right here. Yep. So, so it's kind of on a continuum, you know, like coconut oil's better than, or coconut milk's better than other stuff you could eat, and organic coconut milk's better than regular, and fresh Thai coconuts are better than canned organic coconut milk. So you just got to look at the spectrum of what your options are and pick the best thing that's going to work for you at that time in your life. But um, yeah, so if if you don't have any other options, then canned coconut milk is a great option, and I use it. I use it all the time in lots of my recipes. And again, it's better than other fats you can eat and other things that you can use. Does that answer your question? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I've got that and a little bit of vanilla. Again, put in how much you like the flavor of. And then, do you know what happened to the honey? Oops. Oh, geez. That was close. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Um, since the strawberries are just a little bit tart, I just add in a little bit of raw honey. But a lot of times, um, a lot of times, depending on which fruit you use, like if you use sweet fruits like peaches or bananas or whatever, you don't have to um, put honey in. So a little bit of local raw honey, and that's it. So what are you know what are milkshakes and smoothies usually made out of? Milk, dairy products, cream, sugar, oils, and not much fruit, ice cream, that kind of stuff. And I think you'll find that these taste just as good, and they're way better for you. All right, plug your ears. If you don't have a Vitamix, this job is a little bit harder than if you do. The Vitamix will just uh, liquefy anything. So if you're on a if you're on a a path towards healthier living, I would totally recommend getting a Vitamix. Anybody I've talked to that um, is trying to eat healthier, they have blessed the day that they bought their Vitamix. <laughs> I use mine several, two, three, four, five times a day. And so I use it for so many things. Um, it's, Vitamix has like seven year warranty on it and they're super hardy. I've done everything in my Vitamix and it's held up really well. So I would, if you don't have one, I would highly recommend considering getting one of those. Um, yes, you can get them at Costco and at Costco online. Um, and if you just search around online too, sometimes other places offer really good deals. <laughs> All right, 
Let's give this baby a taste. Now you can use any kind of fruit you want. You can use pineapple, mangoes, coconut. When you go to the when you go to the Vietnamese restaurants and they have their boba smoothie bar, there's like 20 flavors to choose from. Everything from honeydew melon to star fruit to everything. So mm, that's yummy. Okay. So just uh Whatever you feel like, you, you know, bananas, whatever's in season, whatever you have, you can use frozen fruit or fresh fruit. Um, hope you like this. Now, here's the little bubbles. What we did, you guys see those? I'm trying to clean the clutter out of the way here. All right, so we just, you boil them for like five minutes and they get all rehydrated. And then stick those in the bottom of your smoothie. It's a weird idea, but it's so great. I love it. And your kids will love it too. Yeah. Yep. So they're just black tapioca balls. Um, I only find them at Asian markets. So, um, like there's a Thai, there's a Thai market down the street for me. And they also sell like the big straws that are big enough to slurp the bubbles through. <laughs> And if you go to the Vietnamese restaurant, that's what they give you. They give you this with a big straw that's big enough to suck the bubbles through. And it's just a fun little treat. But it's super delicious. And it's something different. So if you're getting bored with, you know, not having enough healthy recipes, here's something crazy and wild that you might want to try.